is a big day in Minnesota. The fishing season is finally here. Half a million Minnesotans are expected to hit the lakes with their fishing poles this weekend. Governor Mark Dayton went to a town of 1,200 people in central Minnesota to see if he could get a few bites. David McCoy was in Spicer to see how he did. You know, for 71 years, the governor's fishing opener has been about so much more than just the fishing. It's about the publicity that this event brings with it and what a point of pride it is for the town that lands the opener. It's been said that good things come to those who bait. And if you are from the Wilmer Lakes area, you know that's true. Let's show this state, this great state of ours, what a great Wilmer Lakes area fishery we have to offer here. At Mel's Sports Shop in Spicer, it's a terrific weekend to be selling bait and tackle. Oh, it's been good. Yeah. Yeah, we've been busy. But that's not really out of the ordinary for the 61 year old institution and the 79 year old institution that owns the place, Gregory Melgis. I started in 1957, the year I graduated from high school. He's lived in Spicer his entire life and is excited to show off his hometown to the rest of the state. The community is a beautiful community. We have one of the purest water lakes in the world. The financial impact of the uh, publicity that comes with this is great, but more importantly is it gets people to see what a great community we have. Marv Calvin's the mayor of Wilmer and wouldn't be doing his job if he wasn't leveraging this opportunity to boast about what the area has to offer. It's a great place to come and recreate. We've got a lot of things. This is where, where the lakes began. And now, where Governor Mark Dayton's run of fishing openers comes to an end. His last time out with local guide Kelly Morrell yielded no walleye, but did bring in three bass. Kelly uh, overcame the Dayton hex, and I caught three uh, bass. Made my whole day, made my last uh, fishing opener very special. Besides some fish, Morrell is hoping visitors this weekend take back with them some new appreciation for this area. I want them to know that we offer a lifestyle, okay, that's unmatched uh, across the state. Now, the governor did make a point of saying that although this may be his final governor's fishing opener, it will certainly not be his last fishing opener, pointing out he has a couple of grandsons with whom he very much plans on spending future fishing openers. At Green Lake and Spicer, David McCoy, WCCO 4 News. And we have seen success from lakes all across Minnesota so far. We're happy to report. Here are some of the posts to Twitter and Facebook that we've reeled in today. Greta posted a photo of her son saying, Someone is glad it's Minnesota governor's fishing opener today, but was bummed when I told him he didn't actually get to fish. And here's a photo of golden retriever named June, who was out on the lake with her fishing buddy. And Todd Nelson wished all my angling friends a very happy fishing opener, saying, nice to see op open water today on most Minnesota lakes after the second coldest April on record for Minnesota. May all your lines be tight. You can share your photos with us by using the hashtag WCCO on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and we'll put them on TV here.